Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how the iceberg big hit from the big hits by Ethan Grandmaster. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, as you put this is a family game. You can learn any hats or accessories in the big hit in this game. You should get some badges, so it's still pretty cool, but just not this one. So in order to get the iceberg big hit, you need to find four different ice cubes around the map. And the ice cubes have this kind of glowing effect to them, so that will let you know when you did find one. But the first one is pretty simple, it's right in this spawn area. So for the spawn, you want to turn around and head over to the back of this house. The ones to reach the back of this house, right over here, right behind the grass hill. The house is on should be the first cube so once you do find this first cube right over here you can just go ahead and touch it it should be one out of four cubes done so now once you have that cube you want to turn left and head over to this little canlin area once we just canlin area over here you can go to the top right corner of the canlin area where there should be entrance to the volcanic area so once you reach the volcanic area you can keep going straight forward until you reach the volcano once you reach the volcano you can keep going around the volcano until you reach the back side of the volcano where there is the entrance to the forest area now once you reach the back side of the volcano right over here you want to turn left and head over to the back of the forest area where there is the entrance to the neighborhood now once you reach the neighborhood right over here you can keep going straight forward until you reach that center point between the green and purple houses on the left side over here. But once you reach the center area between the green and purple houses, you would keep going straight forward down this path until you reach the farmlands area. Once you reach the farmlands area over here, you want to head over to the top left corner of the farmlands. But once you reach the top left corner of the farmlands, if you turn around right over here, right behind the fence, is the second ice cube. So once you do find it, you can just go and touch it. That should be two out of four done. So now once you have that ice cube, you can leave back to the neighborhood area. So now once you make way back here to the neighborhood area, you want to keep going down the road until you reach the city right over here. And once we reach the city, you want to keep going down the road until you reach this highway in the center. And once we reach this highway in the center, you want to turn right and head over to this big sign towards the right of the road. Now once you reach this big sign right over here, if you look in front, there is this semi-transparent ladder that you can use to climb up all the way to the top of it right over here. And once you climb up to the top right over here, on the left side it should be the third ice cube. So once you do find it, you can just go ahead and touch it. That should be three out of four done. So once you get that ice cube, you can head back to the entrance of the city area. And once you make your way back to the entrance of the city area, you can keep going straight forward until you reach the friendly forest. Once you reach this friendly forest area, you want to turn left and head over to the entrance of the winter area over there. Once you reach the entrance to the winter area, you can keep going straight forward until you reach the gingerbread house in the back of the winter area. Once you reach this house in the back of the winter area, you want to turn left and head over to the left wall right over here. And if you look closely, there's this little wood piece poking out of the wood wall. And you want to use it to climb up to the top of the roof right over here. Once you're on the roof right over here, you want to head over to the back of the building. And right over here, there are some more jumps behind this area. And you want to use these jumps to make your way to the wall over there. So once you make your way to the wall right over here, you want to do these next two jumps to make your way to the ice platform. Once you make your way to the ice platform right over here, there are some lava jumps right over here, and you need to jump over these cyan platforms. Right over here, you're going to jump over this one, and you want to jump over the rest of them right over there. So once you do that, you just need to do a few more of these one stunt jumps, make your way to the final platform right over there. Once you make your way to the final platform right over here, at the end should be the last ice cube that you need. So once you do find it, you can just go ahead and touch it, and the iceberg head should now spawn in this area. So once you do that, you can just fall off because it will teleport you back to this start area, then you can make your way to that ice lake in the center of the winter area. So right over here, once you make your way back to the ice lake in the center of the winter area, right over here should be the iceberg big kid. So once you do find it, you can just go ahead and touch it and you should get the iceberg big kid. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye!